Soldier Boy is at it with his uh, game consoles, and now he had previously released two, and now he's back at it with a bigger and better console that apparently is a contender to the Xbox and the PlayStation. So a very quick recap on the situation. All of these consoles are consoles that are previously made and sold on Alibaba by the company that's manufacturing these for him. They are just emulation consoles, and these things are hunks of junk. But they're also hunks of junk that violate the trademark counterfeiting act. And Nintendo isn't letting this slip. Apparently, Nintendo has contacted Soldier Boy over these consoles, and who knows what will be next, and I wouldn't be surprised if they slapped a cease and desist on his ass because of these consoles, but there's no other news on that situation currently. But these consoles actually, like I said, were sold on Alibaba a couple of months ago prior to him slapping his name on them. So I wanted to take a look at the consoles he slapped his face and his name on and is trying to sell for $400. And some of these other consoles, like the handheld one, he even raised the price on because he said that they had sold out and they were flying off the shelves like hotcakes. So right now, his soldier game console, the $199 one, is on sale for $149, and there's not a whole lot of information on this. I know a couple of people have torn them apart. It's funny because right on the actual website of his, it says the age is over three years old, meaning this technology is super, super outdated, and it's just, it's hilarious to me that he's trying to sell these for overpriced. You could buy a system like this for maybe $50, brand new, because it is so old and the technology is so old. But we're looking at his $399 Soldier Game Fuse, and this apparently says it's on sale for almost half price. It says that the original price is $639, but it's on sale for $399, which is an absolute scam. That's so hilarious to me. It is not worth this. This is just an emulation box, and it says that the global 200 plus content partners consist of places like Ubisoft and 505 Games, Rimlight, Studios, you know, Deep Silver. There's so many prominent names on this list. The controller itself looks exactly like an Xbox One controller. I 100% think this is hilarious. All he did was slap on the back of it the Fuse logo and take away the Xbox logo. And, you know, it says that this is a smart design, you know, um, controller and unite the many crystal technology. No idea what the hell that means. And his website doesn't have a lot more information on this. His website is very bland and it literally doesn't say any any technology uh, specs or anything. So I wanted to go over to AliExpress where this was actually sold a couple of months ago. This was actually being sold in August, which is hilarious. And even the price of it right here, the Sea Dragon Fuse basic version, which is the Soldier Game Fuse, it's actually being sold for 319 on AliExpress, which is absolutely hilarious to me. But going right into it, this to me, the title of it speaks miles. It says, Sea Dragon Fuse, a basic version of game console with one game controller, home entertainment, game TV host, no hard disk, free shipping. It says they've got a thousand available, but going into it, it's got names on it like Assassin's Creed. It's also got Dynasty Warriors. Who knows? Who knows what else is really on this because it's just a mosh of different games. But going really into it, I mean, he, he's got titles and pictures of like Mighty Number no. 9 and Blaze Rush and Forced. Not a whole lot of amazing named games besides like Assassin's Creed and Dynasty Warriors. It looks exactly like an Xbox One home layout. That is what this is trying to be marketed as. 367 senior players tested. So you're telling me you had not even a thousand people test this game console because it's such a ripoff? That's, that's what I'm getting out of this. That's, you think PlayStation and Xbox you think they've only got 300 people playtesting this? I highly doubt it. Going into it, it says it supports up to two terabytes SATA hard drive. From what it's saying, the highest resolution is 1080p on the processor that they spelt wrong, by the way. They said processor. I just want to point that out because it's funny. Is the Tegra K1. This is a couple of years old. All of this technology is about three years old. The GPU is an NVIDIA Kepler um, 192 CUDA course. The RAM is four gigabytes DDR3. This thing and the flash memory is 32 gigabytes. This thing is so outdated. You really think that this is worth $300? 
this is worth maybe a hundred dollars. I would pick this up at 150 maybe just to rip it apart and see what's actually inside of it because this thing is light. This thing is, it's not a contender at all. I love the listings because half of everything is spelt wrong. You know, looking at the rest of the electronics and the technology that they have released on their store, on the Sea Dragon game store, this is how you see what he's gonna release next because everything he has released is on this list so far. Maybe Maybe next he's gonna release, you know, a mini portable arcade joystick machine. Who knows? That's what's so funny because all of the technology he's released so far is actually on here right now. Maybe he's gonna make his own type of Game Boy. I mean, who knows? All we can do is see, but I am going to link this website down below because I think it's hilarious if you take a look at it. I mean, maybe he's gonna create a keyboard mobile phone turn to PC blue 28 key R GB mechanical keyboard. Those are the only specs that we know about it. This thing looks like a hunk of junk and the Soldier Boy situation so far has been just a junk situation, but if you guys actually purchased this, let me know. I don't know why you'd purchase this, but it's hilarious to me that people actually have, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If there are any updates to this, I might cover it. I just think it's funny to see someone rebranding and putting their name on a emulator machine because that to me is just really funny, but I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys again really soon. Hey there, thank you so much for sticking around until the end of the video. You should click that subscribe button and there are plenty of ways to show support to the channel, such as following me on Twitter, joining the Dark Titans Discord server, or even chipping in on Patreon and becoming a Dark Titan yourself. I'll see you all in the next video.